I am Modesto Mero. I am one of the Tokia Straw artists. I started weaving hats at the age of 14. My grandfather, who was a great artist, Ermelindo Pachai, taught my brother Giovanni, and Giovanni Mero taught me. I used to wake up in the morning to iron the hats. I remember one day Giovanni left me alone and I had to iron a hat, a very fine hat. The hat was so small, but I put it on a bigger mold. Thinking I was doing right, I put the hat on a bigger mold. I tried to fit it in and I ended up ripping the hat in two parts. One ended on the mold and the other one in my hand. That was a great experience to me. And from that day, I used my knowledge to work harder every day. This is a tradition that has passed from generation to generation. And I would like my children to become great artists in the future. Nowadays, the hats are very important. They have become very important because they have trespassed borders. What I mean is they are popular in other countries. We Ecuadorans don't wear hats often. We should wear them. I mean, the Tokia straw hats. Remember, these hats are very valuable in other countries. Being sold for thousands and thousands of dollars. Sold in European countries and other countries such as United States and Arab Emirates. There is this hat that was woven by Simon Espinal. This hat has 62 threads per inch. This is the finest hat I ever seen in the history of the Tokia straw hats. This hat was sold to an American actor for $150,000. I'm trying to say is that Ecuadorians should appreciate more the Tokia straw hats because in other countries they are willing to pay $100,000 for them. Like I said, these hats are being sold for $1,000 in other countries. Therefore, we should feel proud about having this jewel, this masterpiece, so valuable that we Ecuadorians have. My name is Simon Espinal. I am a Toquilla Straw artist. I learned how to weave hats when I was 14. I have been weaving Toquilla Straw hats for 35 years now. Well, I learned how to do this work through my parents because they knew how to weave hats. So one day when I was a boy, an adolescent, I asked my parents to teach me how to weave hats. So then they told me and I was able to learn the work that I do now. 62 grades is what we call the number of uh, every straw or every thread we can find in one inch on the hat. 62 grades is the highest number of straws that I was able to weave in one hat. To me it's a record achieving to weave that hat. This hat is one of a kind, the only one in this quality. This is the community of Philip, known because this is a place where the best Panama hats are woven, known as Panama hats but they are actually Ecuadorian hats or Toquilla hats. So to me, it made me feel proud achieving this kind of quality. Since they are the only two hats that I made with this kind of quality, I mean the 62 grade. The process is very meticulous and it can take months depending on the weaving and the quality. We can say the finer, the more expensive it gets. It starts from collecting the straw I'm going to explain a little bit the process of how making a toquilla hat is. First we go to the forest and the mountains where toquilla straw grows. This is a palm tree we know as toquilla. We proceed to cut just the cogollos, which are the leaves before the spread. Then we take the straw home and remove all the green parts. After we put in a big pot, and erase all the green that is left. 
Once the boiling process is finished, we remove the straw from the pot and we proceed to dry the straw by hanging it on a line, always trying to keep the process as natural as possible. To begin with the hat, we start by using 8 frets, then we add 8 more, so a total of 16. And as uh, we progress with the hat, we start adding more and more. And as it grows, we carefully incorporate more bread. The process of weaving can take days, weeks, or even months. Then we work on the edge of the brim, uh, I mean this border over here. This particular process can take one hour or two, depending on the hat. Even one day or two if we're talking about the extra fino hat. Then we tie up the threads on the hat, once it's tied up we wash it to remove any dirt. Once the hat is clean, we proceed to iron the hat, making sure there are no imperfections on it. Then we uncrown the hat by cutting all the threads that are sticking out in the inside and also the outside. Once again, we iron the hat to get it ready for softening. To do this, we're going to be using a soft stone underneath and a wooden hammer that we're going to be using to make the hat softer by pounding on it. This piece of wood or hammer weighs around 20 pounds. Then the hat will be ready to be given any design or model we want. The most popular ones are the classic, and the fedora. Then we put a mold in. The hat goes to the press and using a pressure of 400 pounds we keep it there for two minutes. We have to do this meticulously in order to obtain a perfect finishing. Then we glue and saw the accessories, the internal band and the external band, depending on the client's preferences. A recommendation I would like to give to the audience is that when you buy a hat, make sure that this one comes with the tags and brand names of the store or company that you are buying it from. This way, we make sure we're buying a high quality and high standard hat. In our case, our brand name is Modesto Hat. Therefore, all our hats come in the inside with the brand name and tags of Modesto Hats store. We do this in order to warranty our customers they are buying a high quality product. This will be the best way of buying a hat by making sure the brand name is in the inside.